Welcome back to Go and Tell. We're back with another video. And yesterday, Lizzo went live and she kind of broke down in tears because even though she should be happy with a new single, there's a lot of people that are still fat shaming her. And not only that, saying that she's only making music for white people. So I can understand how that could be a lot on a celebrity, especially when they have a comeback song or they, they took a break and they're just now coming back with a single. So Cardi B went live today and she addressed a lot of issues with celebrities and fans and talked about how celebrities are just regular people and it can take its toll on them check out the video and let me know in the comments what you feel about it all right dudes anyways i really want to let y'all know this frank thing right i want to let y'all know this N not everybody is the same okay not everybody is the same hold on i gotta get a chair hold on Oh. oh shit. Hold on. Woo! Oh my pussy. Oh my pussy. My pussy in my ass. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, y'all. Okay, no, hold on. I can't do it. I gotta get closer to y'all. Hi. Hi. Ciao. I'm I'm ready. Anyway. Not everybody's the same, okay? Not everybody's built the same. I know that y'all like, here she goes again. Here comes party goes again. Acting like she's a fucking angel, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. I am not an angel. When people come for me, I be flaming bitches and niggas. Y'all got to remember, I'm from the Bronx. In the Bronx, we love to cut ass. We like to roast bitches and niggas from head to toe like me if i see you in person i will come up i, I could look at you up up and down and in 10 seconds i got like 13 shit to roast you on however not every celebrity is the same because sometimes people say that i need to act like other celebrities but like i said and i noticed not every celebrity is the same some celebrities are like me that if I feel like somebody's attacking me or bullying me or people have an opinion. Y'all already know I start arguing with you niggas. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I start arguing with y'all motherfuckers. I be doing my hair and makeup like, hold on, Erica. That celebrity, I'm that type of celebrity. There's some celebrities like, but then there's a, a, a hold on, bitch. Then there's other celebrities that is like, they they suffer in silence you know they they get their feelings hurt but they don't say nothing they don't argue with people they don't tell people how they feel they just suffer in silence some of them even turn to drugs i will never forgive y'all niggas to what y'all did to michael jackson and then there's people like i don't know like celebrities i think like like lizzo coyler ray like i feel like like you know they're more sensitive and people i feel like i don't know what it is but i feel like people are just so mean and like i don't know like y'all losing your compassion or something or like y'all y'all are not believing in karma or something y'all not believing in nothing and i just feel like people gotta consider other people feelings but i understand that some of y'all at home because i remember when i was broke and i used to see all these celebrities being sad and talk about they getting picked on and they want to do drugs because they think and i used to be like bitch how the fuck you're sad bitch i'm sad i'm broke I'm broke, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you got going on, bitch. I don't give a fuck if you sad or not, bitch. I'm hurt. I need to go to fucking depression therapy. I got, I'm going through some shit, bitch. My rent is due and I'm broke and I just fucking lend this nigga $6,000 to get some weed and I don't got shit. 
I'm broke. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. But now that I'm a celebrity myself, I know how hard it is. And and sometimes you just feel so empty and you feel so alone. No matter how much money, how much bread you got, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I definitely get it when these celebrities be going through shit. And, it, and it's sad. You know why? Because it's sad. Like, for example, like today, I woke up this morning. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up. Couldn't walk. But I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. My baby, she's good. My husband is good. I'm happy. Then I get online and I see Lizzo crying. And, um, I'm like, what the fuck? So now I'm looking at Twitter and now I want to fight. And then I'm arguing, I'm arguing, I'm arguing. And then it's sad because it's like, damn, this is a comeback single. And I want to make it very clear. Nobody's doing shit. Nobody's doing shit for no record sales, whatever. From the first day that the song came out, it went number one on iTunes. It's top ten on Apple. It was number three on fucking Spotify. Like, the record's doing good. But the thing is, a lot of people be like, when celebrities drop a song, like when I drop a song, I feel like that's when I get the most bullied. When I drop a song, I feel like people attack me the most because it's attention. You just drop a song. So I feel like Lizzo is getting a lot of attention right now. And it's like that's a lot of emotions. And it's sad that she cannot even celebrate. She can't even celebrate a, a moment that is supposed to be good for her. Because damn... The bitch haven't dropped a song in two years and her shit is doing great. I'm this like, like, damn, like, fuck shit. Like you go number one on iTunes the first day, you top three on Spotify, you motherfucking top motherfucking 10 on Apple. You, you great getting great views. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause that she's supposed to be celebrating and on, and, but she's not because you motherfuckers want to be fucking calling her name, want to be this, want to be that. Like, that's fucked up. Be more considerate of people. Every time y'all bully people, y'all take one point of your life to go to heaven. Every time y'all bully somebody, God is looking at y'all. I don't go... God is looking at y'all and y'all go... Y'all, those are points off of going to heaven. One thing in guarantee is death. Alright, so when y'all do that, that's bad karma. Even if, matter of fact, even if y'all don't believe in God or the, 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 the devil, karma exists. Do you want bad karma just because you felt like you had to fucking bully somebody on Twitter? Really? You want bad karma because of that? One thing I have learned in life is that when you're good to people, no matter how sometimes you feel like being good to people, it doesn't do nothing for you. It do do something for you. It brings you good karma. You don't want to have bad karma because you felt the need to tease somebody. It's something about giving opinions on certain things, but it's it's different when you're bullying somebody. And I know y'all gonna say, "Bitch, I know you're not talking because you dead done call people this, you call people that, you you said this and that." First of all, I only come for people that come for me, but. Not everybody's perfect, but I feel like sometimes people take it overboard. And it's more than just stand drama. Uh, what's that shit called? Fan drama. Like, y'all need to separate fan drama from people. If people are not problematic, if people ain't looking for problems, leave them alone, bro. Like, y'all really been bugging. Y'all, y'all don't have no... Y'all just don't have any feelings anymore. Like, this, this world is fucked up. Before social media, I did not know that the world is so fucked up. Y'all niggas is fucked up. Y'all going to hell and jail. But, and it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because I know y'all be saying that I'm sensitive, but I'm a sensitive gangster. There is people that are not sensitive gangsters. They're sensitive people and it really hurts them. Okay, it really, really hurts them. And it's not fair for those people. And yes, if y'all wondering, yes, I was that cousin. Then when my cousins were getting picked in school, my skinny ass would be like, what? Let's go fight them. Let's go. 
Because when I was young, I used to get picked on from being skinny. I used to be very skinny. So I used to get picked on. But then I started hanging out with a lot of little boys. And them little boys started teaching me how to cut ass. Every time somebody used to come for me, yo, I used to flame their ass out. Nigga, I know you're not talking shit with them cooked ass sneakers, you bum ass nigga. So, you know, I always been that type of person. Libras just like to stand up for people. Like, we are very, hum I don't know what the word is. I guess we're very humanitarian. We like to stand up for people. So, yeah. I can't breathe. I can't breathe, y'all. I'm ready to give birth. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm really ready. And I'm ready to get some surgery too. Y'all know I love me some fucking surgery. I hate that I gotta sit down and wait like six months to get surgery. I want some fucking surgery. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to talk to you about. Hi. How was your day? Was it good? Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. For real? Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Now, to, yeah, you know, today I had a good day. You know, I just, I was arguing with people, but like... Um, I know I'm okay and everything. Like I told you, I could have barely walked this morning. I was scared, child. This nigga dead done fucked the farts out of me. But other than that, I'm good. Nah, you know, like, I've been okay and everything. Like, you know, I haven't really been able to do anything. I've been recording, but it's hard for me to record because I feel like I lose my breath really fast and I don't sound the same. I sound a little huffy and puffy, so I've been trying to avoid kind of recording, but yeah. And I have a lot of things coming up. Y'all going to find out, but whatever. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to tell y'all that. Why would, I, why would I tell you that? Like, I hate when y'all ask me that. Like, like I'm going to tell y'all. No, I'm not going to say that to y'all. Y'all crazy. He's good. We good. Yeah, she's good too. Um, Yeah, she's going to school this year. On Tuesday, I got to go look for like mass schools and everything. I got to look. I got to go personally to like eight schools on Tuesday. So, yeah. I, that got me fucked up. Like, I've been real sad that I got to take her to school this year, but I have to. Yeah, but you know, I know, I know, I know it's early, but you know, like, it's like, why not? Like, I'd rather her get used to it now than like have to take her when she's like four and five. I ain't never been to pre-K, bitch. I ain't never went to pre-K. I went straight to kindergarten, bitch. Like, I went from, I went to kindergarten when I was five years old. You know what I'm saying? Like. But yeah, I'm gonna just take it. Yeah, what happened? Oh. Wow. No, but it's okay. You're gonna be good. You know, sometimes in life, shit like that always happens, but fuck it. And what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, I, I know. I went through it myself, but like, you know, fuck it. Ooh. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.